Today, I'm going to teach you how to make daily rewards in your Fortnite creative maps. Daily rewards are one of the most common tools that real game developers use to get more people coming back to play their game. This mechanic is everywhere, from Fortnite Save the World to 8-Ball Pool on your phone. These mechanics reward and incentivize players to return and play more of your maps, and building that loyal player base is like one of the most important things there is when it comes to releasing your next map. Using some of the newest devices we got in recent updates, we can now make our own custom daily reward systems in creative, and here's how it works. As soon as the game countdown ends, this sequencer is going to start, and once it's done, it's able to determine what day it is and enable the corresponding rewards. Then all we have to do is walk up and claim our reward, and woohoo, we got a thousand gold. But Yurt, what if people just keep joining a new game and keep getting the daily reward? Well, they actually can't, because using the new Switch device, we can actually make it so each player can only get one daily reward no matter how many different matches they play. If you're like me and you like free stuff and you like daily rewards, then you should like the video because it's free and I teach you how to make daily rewards. But all right, let's hop right into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need is a sequencer. And the only thing that we have to do to this is set it to activate on game start. Then we just need to pull out a trigger device. And for this tutorial, we're going to set up one whole week's worth of daily rewards. So we're gonna need seven triggers. To make things super easy, we're just going to set these triggers up so that when triggered, they transmit on channels 11 through 17 in that order. Once we have all seven of our triggers and they're all within our sequencer, we can pull out the real time clock. Open up the settings and we're just going to make sure that we set enabled at game start to disabled. Then we wanna set the display mode to date so it looks more like a calendar. And then we just wanna set the hours to 12. Then we're gonna set the month and the day settings to whatever today's date is that you're watching this video. For me, that's going to be the 19th of October. And from here, the rest of this whole mechanic is just like super simple. We just need to set enable when receiving from channel 11, and then we wanna set disable when receiving from channel two. Now we wanna set both the when time reached and when enabled and time reached settings to channel one. And then we're going to set when enabled and time not reached transmit on channel two. Then all we have to do is just copy and paste this device for each day of rewards that we're making. And each time you copy the device, we're just going to add one to the day setting and one to all the channels. So the next one would be day 20 channel 123223. And since we're doing a whole week's worth, we should have seven and the very last one should be enable when receiving from channel 17 disable when receiving from channel eight, when time reached and when enabled and time reached, transmit on channel seven, and finally, when enabled and time not reached, transmit on channel eight, which would then disable the device. Next, we just need to pull out the switch device. And man, this device is already my favorite device. And I don't think any of us even have the slightest clue how much this thing's really capable of yet but we're going to head back to our first day of rewards and place down our first switch. We wanna set visible during games to no, and then we're gonna just type something like, claim your daily reward in for the turn on text. We can also tell the player if they've already claimed their reward today by typing that into our turn off text. Then we can also set up an interaction time if we want. Then this is the part I was talking about on how we can limit the player to just one reward a day. We can set the times can change to one and it works just like the times can trigger setting that you guys are already familiar with. We're gonna set auto save to yes. Then we're going to set auto load to game start, store state per player to yes. Now we can set enable when receiving from channel one and disable when receiving from channel two. Then we also wanna check the state when receiving from channel 300 and when state changed transmit on channel 300. So that way when a player hits the switch, we can check to see if they've already got their rewards since the switch can only be used one time. And to do that, we just wanna set if on when checked, transmit on channel nine and if off when checked, transmit on channel 10. Click okay and now we just have to copy and paste our switch in front of each of our real time clocks. And once again, it's gonna be as simple as just adding one to both the enable when and disable when receiving from settings. So it should be enabled on two, disable on three, enable on three, disable on four, all the way until we get to the last one, which should be enable when receiving from channel seven and disable when receiving from channel eight. 
Now we just need an item granter to actually give the player their reward. You can create really whatever reward you want to, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just be giving them a thousand gold per day. So all I need to do is drop in some gold. Then I'm gonna set on grant action to keep all and grant item when receiving from channel nine. And if you really wanna spice things up a bit, you can also pull out a HUD message device and set it to show when receiving from channel nine and then say something like daily reward collected plus a thousand gold or something like that. Now, believe it or not, we're actually finished. We can start the game and test it out, but this mechanic is pretty lightweight on channels, needing just two channels per day of rewards that you wanna make. But I suggest just doing a week at a time because each week, all you have to do to update the entire map for a whole new set of weekly rewards is go in and add seven to the day setting in each of our real-time clocks. And you guys can really do that in like two minutes and then you're just all set for another week of awesome rewards. Click here to watch why I think we're getting custom prefabs in Fortnite Creative soon. Thank you all so much for watching and as always, stay up.